Everybody and welcome back to another election prediction video today. Today is going to be another quick election prediction video, um, just to make it quick and probably similar timing to yesterday's video. Um, today we're going to be doing an election prediction between Michael Knowles, who is a Republican podcaster, and Shane Uger, who is a liberal, um, I guess talk show host, you could say, uh, on the Young Turk. So basically... Um, somebody who's more on the, definitely of the right wing, uh, in Knowles, or Knowles slash Shapiro, uh, definitely that sort of wing, and then you, Chan Kuger, definitely more on the left wing. But anyway, let's get to the safe Democrat states. Yuga would dominate the West Coast, including Hawaii, uh, obviously not as much as Alaska. He wouldn't do as well in Illinois, I'm not going to make that safe, but he would do well in Vermont, Rhode Island. Um, but still, Knowles actually would have a lot of that Northeastern appeal. He's kind of more of the uh, more of like an a like an a leader Republican type, so I do think that some of those states up in the Northeast would be a bit likely rather than um, fully solid. But I will put Colorado as a solid state for the Democrats, so it's going to be a bit different. Solid Republican states will be as follows: usually a lot of the usual states, but I guess leaving a few out. Um, Actually, no, that's about it. So it's about 150 to 125. Let's get to the likely states. Likely Democrat, New Mexico, New Jersey, Connecticut, Maine's first, and Illinois. Likely Republican is Ohio, Iowa, Maine second, and that's about it. Lean Democrat, Virginia. Knowles would do a bit better with the suburbs than Uger, um, just simply because of the appeal and uh, the charisma style. Another lean Democrat, Minnesota would lean Democrat. Uger would still do pretty okay in the Rust Belt, um, but obviously not as good as Biden or Sanders. Uh, let's see if there's any more lean Democrat states. Um, I'm not going to characterize any more lean Democrat states. Let's get to lean Republican states. Lean Republican would be North Carolina. Florida, Texas, um, all lean Republican states, uh, I guess continuing or maintaining their uh, lean Republican stature. Uh, for tilt Democrat states would be Maine at large, Michigan, Nevada. Let's get to some tilt Republican states. Would be New Hampshire, Wisconsin, um, let's see, I would also do Nebraska second would tilt Republican. Um, and then we can revert back to some tilt Democrats. Georgia would tilt Democrat. Euchre would still get a lot of the percentage of the uh, more left-wing vote, and there is a decent amount in Georgia, and that will increase as uh, Georgia continues to trend leftwards. 258 to 250, a tilt Republican state would be Arizona. Michael Knowles would win Arizona. Uh, and for the final state, deciding the entire 2020 election, um, between Michael Knowles and Shank Uger is the state of Pennsylvania, another very close toss-up state. However, I see that slightly tilting in Knowles' direction, partially with the uh, shift in the in the um, in the margins and in the, in the demographic shift over the years, and percentile shift for the Democrats' margins in um, Pennsylvania as it's shifted more and more to the right. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the whole map. The new map, a bit of a more interesting map between these two candidates, definitely representing their wings of the party uh, and their unbeliefs. But 280, 258, another very close election. Um, Republicans, I do believe, have been winning the majority of my last elections with uh, Candace Owens. Um, I believe the last one I made, I may have had a Democrat win one. Um, but I do want to try and make some more videos with Democrats uh, having, I guess, a bit of an upper hand here. But at the moment, I still have Republicans winning. But if you disagree with any of the state calls, please go right ahead and explain why in the comments. And I'll do my best to, you know, share my opinion on that. But, you know, please feel free to say whatever you'd like. And if you agree, please say that as well. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. We're at 151 subscribers. Let's get that extra 49 and get up to 200 and uh, like the video and turn on notifications. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.